New at 6, cleaning up the trash in Boston. Bags of garbage piled up in this alley here on Trash Day, and some say it's a mess that's attracting more rats. So, we all have garbage. What's the solution? WBZ's Christina Hager shows us some options. Beautiful day out here in Boston until you look down. It draws them here. It's like a buffet. The rats. Some call this a meal for those that come out after sunset. They just come scurrying through, and I'm terrified of them. How big? Big. Small cat. It's because apartment residents in Boston are instructed to put out their bags of trash on the morning of their assigned pickup day. You're not allowed to leave them out at night, but everybody does. And you go in the morning and you see all the little bite marks and there's food and glass and everything everywhere. Like we saw this day, piles upon piles, signs instructing people to tie the bags. But city councilors say that's not enough. One solution they're tossing around, putting a bin on every corner that would unlock just once a week on the morning of that block's trash pickup. Another solution is the one that's 100 years old in Boston, which is putting underground containers in and having people, uh, that's how people used to store their garbage 100 years ago in the city. We spoke with city councilors planning a hearing. No date set yet, but they're hoping to hear more ideas for containing this mess. I can't promise that we're going to get to a day where there are no more rats in the city of Boston, but that should be our objective, and we should be working backwards from there at all, the, all possible solutions. The hope to move Boston from the ranks of the country's rattiest cities to the cleanest. Imagine in the back bay, Christina Hager, WBZ News. The rats have always kind of reigned supreme. In they Boston. have. <laughs> and you know, I fear if I say anything bad about rats, I'll be getting an email or a letter. But I'll say this they're disgusting. <laughs> they are <laughs> undeniably disgusting. Really. So